ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಪಾರ್ಥಾಯ ಪ್ರತಿಬೋಧಿತ ಭಗವತ ನಾರಾಯಣೇನ ಸ್ವಯಂ ವ್ಯಾಸೇನ ಗ್ರಥಿತ ಪುರಾಣ ಮುನೀನಾ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ಅದ್ವೈತಾಮೃತವರ್ಷಿಣೀ ಭಗವತೀಮ ಅಷ್ಟಾದಶಾಧ್ಯಾಯಿನೀ ಅಂಬತ್ವಾಮನುಸಂದಿ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತೆ ಭಗವತ್ವೇಶಿನಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬಿನ್ ಕಾಂಟಪ್ಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಮೆಸೇಜಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ ನಾವ್ ಇಂದ ದ್ವಾದಶೋಧ್ಯಾಯ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯೋಗ ದ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ವಿ ಸಾ ಹೌ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಏಂ ಸತತಯುಕ್ತ ಯೇ ಭಕ್ತ ಸ್ವಾಂ ಪರ್ಯುಪಾಸತೆ ಯೇ ಚ ಅಪ್ಯಕ್ಷರಂ ಯೇ ಚಾಪ್ಯಕ್ಷರಂ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತಂ ತಾಂ ಕೇ ಯೋಗ ವಿಕ್ತಮಾ ಓ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಟೋಟಲಿ ಡೆಡಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಯು ಸರೆಂಡರ್ ಟು ಯು ರೈಟ್ ಭಕ್ತ ಯೇಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಅದರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ದ ಅಕ್ಷರ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಲೆಸ್ ಪರ್ಮನೆಂಟ್ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ಸೊ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ದ ಬೆಟರ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ ಯೋಗ ವಿಧ ಬೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ನೋ ದ ಯೋಗ ಬೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ವೆರಿ ನೋಬಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಯು ಸೊ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೆಡ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ಡೌಟ್ ದಿ ಸೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಟೋಟಲಿ ಸರೆಂಡರ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡ್ರೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೆಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಡೂ ದ ಅಕ್ಷರ ಧ್ಯಾನ ದ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಲೆಸ್ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ದೇ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅಪ್ಟೇನ್ ಮೀ ನೋ ಡೌಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲೇಶೋಧಿಕ ತರಸ್ ತಾಮ್ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಆಸಕ್ತ ಚೇತಸಾಮ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಫೋಕಸಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ದ ಅನ್ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಅಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೆಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಕ್ಲೇಶ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇಹವತ್ ಭೀರವಾಪ್ಯತೆ ವಿ ಹರ್ ದೇಹವತ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಬಾಡಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಇಂಟೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಇಮೇಜಸ್ ಆಡಬಲ್ ಆರ್ ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ಇಮೇಜಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ we can only perceive that which our sense organs can perceive we should be able to touch or feel or smell or see or hear if not we cannot understand that so an abstract thing which is beyond all the, beyond the perception of all these sense organs is not easily comprehensible to us so to transcend the sensory level and go to a higher level is not an easy thing kleshah adhikatara hatesham so it's very difficult for them and most of them uh, fail in that path and it's easier said than done so who uh, who who know that i am the akshara and the vyakta but they rather uh, wish to worship me in a divine form as a devata for them it is much easier because it's a natural way our sense organs are captured and made to focus upon one thing one devata that is why we have in our puja paddhatis we have a beautiful alankara so that our eyes are captivated we keep on looking at the devata it's concentrated in one place there's a lot of um, bhaja bhajan a lot of gong ghanta and jay ghanta and then bhajans and songs and tala all that which make us forget about the outside noise and focus upon paramatma there's a smell of dhupa and camphor and uh, the fragrant flowers which also makes our Uh, nasa indriya totally engaged there then we have um, we do puja we are feeling we are doing kumkum archana we do pushparchana akshata puja etc so our hands our touch is also involved in that we are offering argya etc and then we are also saying the mantras mm-hmm. and uh, so all the five organs uh, sense organs are totally involved in that so it's an easier more natural way like for little children we say three in the mind and four in the finger and it's easy for them to count so till they grow up till they can uh, calculate in their minds without any physical uh, support till they can uh, start calcul- calculating in their mind they definitely will need the help of the fingers or the beads or things like that so we also till we transcend uh, dependence on sensory uh, organs till then for us devata murti or anupasana of the paramatma in the devata form to surrender to him to uh, to completely commit to him is an easier and a natural way so krishna is explaining that in bhakti yoga so bhakti means to surrender bhakta or bhakti literally means to surrender to submit to feel low to feel smaller so when we see a big sky when we see a big ocean we see a huge mountain we say ah we feel we are losing our identity in that isn't it so that is bhakti uh, when we see something very vast very infinite mm, immediately our uh, ego shrinks so that's exactly what bhakti is about when we 
to the dhyana of the paramatma the sense of me i i my me i just me my bank account my money my my the small frame which is suffocating us which is disabling us to comprehend the higher cosmic identity that starts diluting in bhakti because we are always thinking of the paramatma our love our emotions are pouring out towards him and not towards the pity uh, material objects around so krishna goes on explaining this in bhakti yoga so now in the sixth shloka he continues and says ye tu sarvani karmani mai sanyasya mat paraha ananye naiva yogi na maam dhyayanta upasate tesham aham samuddarta so here in the sixth shloka he says ye tu sarvani karmani mai sanyasya those who offer all their karma there are three types of karma kaya vacha manasa that we, which we do with our body daihika karmas all that we speak vachika karma and all that we think or feel all that is manasika karma so we say trikarana purvaka kaya vacha manasa all the karma mai sanyasya those who offer it to me jaise krishna arpanam astu shiva arpanam astu paramatmane samarpanam astu narayana arpitam astu so in whatever way in whatever form and name we think of the lord we have to offer all our karmas to him mat paraha they are always thinking of me proceeding towards me journeying towards me ananye naiva yogena ananya yogena na anyam iti nothing else so stick fast in one path so the the devotion is stick fast it's called ishta nishta concept of ishta nishta is very beautiful in bhakti paramatma is abstract he is an evikara nirakara brahma but to to uh, to worship him to meditate upon him we take a beautiful agama tarupa which the rishis have uh, conceived in their realization so we take that up and we worship through that form and uh, there are so many such agamukta forms we have the vaishnava padati with so many vishnu forms we have the shaiva padati with so many shiva forms we have the shakti padati with so many shakti forms ganapati padati with so many ganapati forms and saura padati and there are also uh, smaller uh, sub classifications of these but all these together any of these they are all windows opening up into the great infinite truth so wherever i am whichever window i am placed in uh, i am still seeing the same one truth so here he says uh, but to keep on switching saying uh, this is not right i'll go there that is not right i'll go there to be confused about these uh, different devata forms is a very very childish idea every devata is like a window to the one satchidananda swarupa so i don't have to keep on shifting windows i don't have to keep changing windows i'll just sit in one place and just stand fastly gaze into the sky to get the truth so my devata ishta nishta is very important so when we say ishta nishta it doesn't mean hating the other devata if you are hating the other devata forms again we are foolish because every devata is showing us the one truth only but i don't have to keep on changing i need to keep, get steadfast in one place so that my sadhana becomes more deep and intense so ananya yogena he says ananya ananyena eva yogena with a complete steadfast commitment and focus huh? maam dhyayanta upasate they are meditating upon me and worshiping me so this is the bhakti yoga is telling about to think of the avyakta to uh, uh, meditate upon the formless abstract uh, truth is difficult so not many people get to that but the others who meditate upon me one form here when krishna says me he doesn't mean just devaki suta krishna devaki suta krishna is just his leela manava leela but he is actually the paratattva the same krishna can become shiva can become vishnu can become brahma anything the one paratattva the one great ocean uh, has so many glaciers of different shapes and sizes isn't it so the one paramatma sachidananda can take different devata names and forms so here when he says maam it means devata the ishta devata uh, so let's not confuse the word maam to be just a uh, vaishnavite reality where krishna says it's just me just the form of krishna we should not take these words quantitatively we should understand the higher meaning in that krishna never spoke like a person he didn't never ever speak like a human being every time he used to connect to the paramatma tattva and speak 
So when it says Maam Dhyayanta Upasate, it means those who worship on the Satchidananda Rupa of me through any one form, any one form but totally committed, totally focused. It could be even the Krishna form, it could be even other forms, but the total devotion and commitment, those who do, Tesha Maham Samudartha. So I shall uh, uplift them, I shall help them out of the Samsara Sagara. Uh, the next shloka and the shloka are actually connected. So we'll see the meaning uh, in totality of the two shlokas in the next episode. Namaste Jai Shri Krishna. TV Vikrama National Bharat Bhagya Vidata. Subscribe TV Vikrama National and don't forget to click bell icon button and select all notifications.